What's up guys, in this video we are going to be taking a look at Cubicle Custom. I'm going to take you through the process of ordering a cube and then waiting on the cube and getting the cube and kind of talking about my thoughts about Cubicle Custom. Uh, I am going to be making a brand new email, a brand new Cubicle account and using a card I have never used on the Cubicle before so that they don't know that it is me ordering the cube because Previously in the past, people thought I got special treatment because I worked for the cubicle, so we're just going to completely ignore that. They are not sending me this. They don't know when I'm placing this order. They don't know anything about it, and it's not gonna be attached to my email or name or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and create account. Uh, what do I wanna call myself? We'll call myself Mackie. Johnson. And then we'll do Mackie Johnson, I don't know, 578. All right, we now have the email created, so we're gonna go to the cubicle.us and we're gonna create a new account. All right, we now have an account and let's go through the cubicle custom ordering process. All right, so we got cubicle custom. I honestly don't know what cube to pick, let's see here. GAN 354 isn't bad, but I don't think you can customize the magnet options. Yeah, you just use the custom ones, so it's really just swapping out the nut and then doing the lube job. So for the sake of this video, let's not do that where the magnets are already done. You know, let's do a Huan Long. I gave my Huan Long away at Nationals to another friend, uh, so I don't have one anymore, and I pretty much have all of these other cubes. So we're gonna make mine stickerless. Uh, one thing that I did notice is that you still have the options to choose stickers even when um, you choose stickerless. So you really wouldn't need stickers in this case. Um, so I do think that it does default to none after you click stickerless. So it's not like it's gonna stay on this, but if someone accidentally clicked that, that would be a little unfortunate. So hopefully in the future, this will just gray out if you choose stickerless. Then you have the magnet options, which are all just $20. I'm gonna go ahead and go with, I think I'll just do standard. Yeah, let's just do standard for now. Uh, on the core, let's just go ahead and do lubical black. And then on the pieces, I have really been liking Angstrom Gravitas, I would say in Probably most cubes I've lubed in recent times, I've been using Gravitas, so I am definitely enjoying that. And then maybe let's go ahead and do DNM. And I could pick one more lube option, but I honestly don't know what else on this list. All right, add to cart. Let's go ahead and check out. Got to use code JRCuber to get that juicy 5% off. Should we add a comment? Can you draw a penguin? Breathing fire. All right, let's 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 see if they do that. All right, my order has been placed. Uh, we typically send out orders within one to two business days, but I believe Cubicle Customs said the back order or the process right now would be three to five to seven days. So current production time, five to seven days. So I think think there's maybe a way I can check on the cube as it's being made. Otherwise, I'll just make a quick update when the email comes in about the cube having shipped. Uh, right now it is November 6th, 4.48 p.m. So the cubicle is definitely not open right now. So the cube's not even gonna get touched today. So uh, production time, five to seven days. So might ship out on like the 11th or 12th and then could be a couple more days after that even. So we'll go ahead and see when it shows up and I will report back. What's up guys, it is currently November 27th. The cube actually came on the 24th, but I wasn't in town when it came. I was out of town for Thanksgiving, uh, but now I'm back and the cube is here. So it took about 18 days to get here, which is a pretty considerable amount of time, especially when you consider that a lot of times cubes will take two to three days to come. Uh, I mean, for some custom cubes it, you know, previously for something like Pro Shop, it may have taken a little bit longer, but definitely not something like 18 days. 
Um, but I already did the unboxing part. I just didn't think anyone cared to see me open a bag. But this is the Cubicle Custom card that comes with. You can see who magnetized it, who lubed it, stickered it, and did the quality assurance. And then on the back, they uh, wrote me a note that says, yes, we can. Um, I asked them to draw a fire-breathing penguin. They said they can, but uh, I did not see any fire-breathing penguin anywhere. So unfortunately, no fire-breathing penguin for me in this video. And then if anyone cares, this is the box that I already tore up a little bit. Just a box about uh, cubicle cubes. And then it also came with this yellow stand right here. But anyways, let's go ahead and do first turns on the cube here. This is the new Cubicle Custom logo. I actually really like it. I know a lot of people were really mixed. They thought this was going to replace the current Cubicle logo. It is not doing that, but I do really like how it looks. Damien did a great job on this. So let's go ahead and do first turns. Mm. So I am noticing right off the bat that it is a little bit tighter than I would probably do. Let's just go ahead and see what corner cutting is like. Mm, so it's a little bit over 45. Ooh, that side's a little tight. Yeah, that side is having a hard time doing 45. It will do less than 45. Mm, well, that red must be really tight. Red or yellow, one of these sides is really tight. This side is about 45. That side's about 45 as well. But I can definitely tell it is on the tighter side. Ooh, let's go back into focus there. I can definitely tell it's on the tighter side um, compared to what I'm used to. I would personally loosen this up a bit. I think it's a little bit too tight. But out of the box, the turning is actually a lot better than previous uh, Cubicle Pro Shop cubes that I've used or any custom cube really. Out of the box, like this pretty much felt good to go. And now I don't know if that is because of the lube mixture I used or anything new with the service. More than likely, it just probably happened that the lube mixture I chose just happened to work well and wasn't one that was going to sink in and really slow the cube down. But out of the box, definitely the best cube I have felt, uh, minus the tensions, I would change that a little bit. But as far as actual turning goes, very nice, very smooth, magnets feel good inside here. Feels very nice to turn. So that's my initial out of the box impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and film some solves and then I will come back and give you guys some more thoughts on how I feel about this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover over these solves while you guys watch and just kind of give my thoughts on the cube and cubicle custom as a whole. Uh, so I did 30 solves. The best average of five was 815. The best average of 12 was 853. And the best average of 25 was 885. Nothing too crazy. I would say this is probably about average, maybe a little worse than average. I really wasn't warmed up. Those were my first solves of the day. So it wasn't anything spectacular. Um, but the cube was completely fine as I solved it. It was feeling great. I actually really enjoy how the cube feels. But like I mentioned previously, the cube was a little bit too tight for me. I will probably end up loosening that cube because it's just too tight for me and I feel like it is lacking some corner cutting that the cube would normally have. Uh, overall, I probably won't main the cube, not because the cube is bad in any way. I just really enjoy the GAN 356X right now. So if there was a cubicle custom version of that, that's probably what I would have ordered because I am really enjoying that cube. But as far as Juan Long goes, I do think it is a great cube. I think it feels great. The lube combination ended up coming out great. The cube was pretty much ready to go out of the box, minus the tensions again, but that's a pretty easy fix. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty happy with how the cube came out. No real glaring issues, everything was pretty good. All right, so now I just wanna talk about Cubicle Custom as a whole and kind of give my opinions on it because there was a bit of confusion as far as what's the deal with Pro Shop and Cubicle Custom now, why are the price is so much money and all of that. And I'm gonna try and explain it with how I understand it. Uh, I believe this is correct. I'm not positive, but I believe I'm interpreting this correctly. So I ordered a Huan Long M from Cubicle Custom. It was lubed with Lubicle Black, d 37, Angstrom Gravitas, it was stickerless, and then I also had them put standard magnets in it, which I believe 
are a little bit heavier than the standard magnets that come in a Huanlong. Uh, that cost $43, well, at, that was with a discount code. So $45.99 with no discount code on it. Now, if I look at a Cubicle Huanlong M from Cubicle Pro Shop, it is typically $35. For some reason right now, it is discounted down to $29. That might be a Cyber Monday sale thing, but its list price is $35. So with custom magnets and three of my own personal lubes that I wanted, the price only increased $10. That's not that bad. If you're talking about a cube that does not come with custom magnets, they have to put in new magnets for you, a $10 price increase over a Cubicle Huanlong M is not that bad. The idea from what I understand now with Cubicle Pro Shop is that the cubes are gonna be built the way they see fit, the way that they think is good, so they're gonna choose the lube combo, uh, the stickers, and then they're just gonna make a bunch of them so that they can quickly ship them and be a little bit cheaper. So that's my understanding of Cubicle Pro Shop currently. Now, Cubicle Custom is basically the flagship service where you can customize everything. You can customize the stickers, what magnets you want, uh, what lubes you want inside of it. So it's basically a Cubicle Pro Shop, but amped up. So again, a Cubicle Huanlong M from Pro Shop, normally $35, and what I ordered was $46. So $11 price increase for custom magnets is not that bad. You have to remember with the Cubicle Pro Shop Cube, it's just going to be the standard cube and then set up the way that they see fit. With Cubicle Custom, you now have the option to choose any of the lubes you want. You get three lube options of your choice and you get custom magnets. So I really don't think that's that bad of a deal. So now I did just go ahead and check uh, a couple other prices on the website. I did a GTS2 from Cubicle Pro Shop and then a GTS2 from Cubicle Custom. And the GTS2 from Cubicle Custom ended up being $58, while the one from Cubicle Pro Shop is $35. It's currently listed as $29, but the list price is $35, so I'm assuming there is currently a sale going on, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the list price. So again, it's 23 more dollars for the Cubicle Custom one, but you got custom magnets with it. You got to choose which magnets you had. You weren't stuck with the factory ones from Moyu. So if you didn't like those, maybe that is worth it to you. The thing you have to keep in mind with a service like this is there's always going to be two camps of people. There's going to be the people that couldn't care less if a cube was set up for them or not. They probably prefer to do it themselves. They wanna save some money. They don't mind buying the magnets and then putting them in, stickering the cube, lubing it the way they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that is perfectly acceptable and for a long time that is personally how I have preferred how to do it. But there's also the other camp of people that just don't want to deal with that. They don't wanna glue magnets into a cube, which is personally me. I really don't want to deal with gluing magnets into a cube. Um, but some people might like that, that's totally fine. But there's just gonna be that camp of people that just want the cube to be set up for them. They want different magnets, they want these lubes in it, you know, they don't wanna buy each individual lube and all of that. So for some people, that's going to be worth it. In this case, the price gap was about $23. Uh, and like I said, that might be worth it to you, that might not be. But I don't think it's as drastic of a price hike as people seem to think it is. When you consider the labor of having to put in the magnets and then the lube service, I feel like that adds up or makes sense in my mind. Um, at least with the magnets, I feel like that's pretty understandable. Again, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but it sounds reasonable to me. When I first saw the comments, I actually hadn't even seen the prices of things yet, and people were making it sound like it was just some complete skyrocket nonsense, like why would anyone ever pay for that sort of thing? But I don't know, in my opinion, it seems pretty reasonable. Now, yes, I do wanna clarify that I do understand that near $60 for a three by three is a lot of money. I am in no way saying that is not a lot of money, but some people that might simply be worth it. Again, there's those two camps of people, someone who wants to do everything themselves and the other people who just want a cube set up and done well. I have seen those two camps of people for so long now, and people just 
kind of forget that. Some people are fully willing to pay that, and if you aren't, that is completely okay, but some people are. So how I feel about this service in general is, for me, I don't personally believe it's a service I would have a lot of need for because I don't normally mind the stock magnets that come in a cube. There have been a couple cubes where I wasn't a huge fan, but there hasn't been any yet where I actually liked the cube and then wanted different magnets in it. And then I also don't normally mind setting up the cubes myself. I'm normally pretty picky about that, so I normally find it's a little easier for me to just do it myself. Um, but if, again, if you're someone who really wants all of this just done for you, that's what the service is targeted for. For me personally, I would probably just buy the stock cube and then do it myself because I don't have a problem with the magnets that normally come in it. If you do, this is probably the service for you. But for me, I'm fine with how things were. I think this is good. This gives people more options out there. At least now you have the options to customize something like this. If you still want something that's a little bit cheaper, you have Cubicle Pro Shop, the cubes are still gonna be good. You just don't get the custom magnets and the different lube options. You just have to be okay with what they picked as the setup. So yeah, there you guys go. Those are my general opinions on Cubicle Custom. Let me know down below what you guys think. And if I missed anything, please let me know. It is definitely a lot of information to try and relay or read over. So if I missed anything, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.